In this video, I'm going to show you this really awesome technique where you can place an image behind the text layer and you can have a specific object from the original image stick out of the text. It's really awesome and it's really easy. So let's get right into it. So to begin with, we're just going to disable the image that we've just imported. So we're just going to select the eyeball and that's going to completely hide that from our view. Now select the background layer, go to the paint bucket tool on the left hand side of Photoshop. We'll change the color of the ink. So I'm going to change this to black and then we'll just fill in the background to black. Now select the title icon on the left hand side of Photoshop. So that is that T button. Select the canvas and then we'll just change the color of this and type out whatever we want. Now I'm just going to increase the size of this to around 130% to make sure this is really large. And this is really going to make the object really pop out from the text. Now select the black background and that white text that we just created. We'll right click and select convert to smart object. So that's going to merge those two layers. We've got the text layer and the background layer now successfully merged together to create one layer. Now select the box that says normal on the right side of After Effects with that merge layer selected and we'll go down in to darken. Now we'll turn the original photo back on and we'll drag that underneath that merge layer. So the photo should be at the very bottom and as you can see that photo is bleeding through the text. So that looks really awesome. Now we're just going to lock that text layer. So we're going to select that and press the padlock. Select the original image and press Command T on the keyboard to load up Transform. Now in Transform we can change the position, the scale, the rotation. So you just want to go ahead and adjust the scale, position and the rotation of the original image. And you want to make sure that you position the image that you first imported into Photoshop in a place on the text where you want this to pop out. So my subject is this person doing a backflip and I want them to pop out from the X and I want to see their head from the T. So I'm just going to place them over the X and the T. Now, from here, we'll turn off the text layer. So we'll disable that. We'll press the eye tool and we'll copy the original background layer. So select the background layer, hold command C, command V to paste that into its own layer. And we'll drag the position up and make sure the two perfectly match each other. If you need to reduce the opacity of the top layer to do this, then you're more than welcome to. Now we'll turn the text layer back on and we'll drag that underneath the copied image layer. So we should have image layer on the top, text layer on two, and image layer on three. Now select the top image layer, and we're going to go up into the polygonal lasso tool, and we're just going to draw a mask around the outside of the subject. Now I'm just going to do this very quick and very roughly because I'm only showing you the technique, but feel free to take time and really do a good job of creating a clean, accurate mask. But once you're done with this, all you need to do is select Command C with that layer selected and then press Command V to paste that into its own layer. Turn off the layer that you just copied. And there you go. The subject from the original image is now popping out from that text. Of course, though, you can isolate certain parts of this image and remove parts that you don't want to appear outside of the text. So let's begin with the head, for example. We'll keep the head underneath that black layer. So with that copied layer selected, we'll go into the rectangle mask tool on the top left of Photoshop and we'll draw a mask following the straight line of the T. Now we'll go to the eraser tool and we'll just erase that part of the image. And this is the process that you want to follow for removing any part of that copied layer from the text. So there you go. That is the pop out text effect right inside of Adobe Photoshop. It's super quick and it's super awesome. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.